All right, we're here with Ty Sloan. Ty, you guys are preparing for this weekend's Hack Championships at Benedicting. Um, you know, what are your goals for yourself um, going into the championships this weekend, and 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 your team goals as well? Um, as a team, we're definitely trying to win conference again. Um, last year, I think we came two points slight of our, I want to say, four hundred point uh, goal. Um, so we're definitely trying to win uh, on a personal level. Definitely going to try to win the hurdles again. And um, I'm also on the 4x1, and we have a really good chance of winning that. And we're trying to improve our time to have a better seat at Nationals. You've had a lot of uh, individual success here at Baker on the track team, and, and you've been on a lot of um, conference champion teams as well. Um, you know, What's it meant for you to wear that Baker uniform and, and compete for Baker at such a high level? Um, a conference is a whole new feeling because um, track is very much like an individual team sport, but at conference, it's all about like being a member of the team, doing your best for the team. Um, like my favorite moment of conference is when the 4 by 4 goes, like um, one year there was a chant and our whole team took up like the curves and were chanting your name the whole time. Last year for indoor, they made like a swish sound when you run um, the curve, it's just that unity you feel as like actually being like a, on a team with a team goal is the greatest. And at Nationals, it's just great to see how far like we all can go. Like everyone who goes on the national team, like you're pushed to a whole new level and have to bring out your personal best. And it's nice to do it with, with the team you've been training with since September because you know how far they've worked. What was it like for you last year? You know, to to come home with um, what was it was it three All American awards at the outdoor meet? Um, you know, what was it like for you to, to come home with that success? It was very surreal. Like, it almost didn't seem like it happened. Like, I placed. I I got three All American titles in one meet. It was just great to. Like, I feel like I'm more focused on Jeremy winning than the fact that, like, I had got three All-American titles because it was just such a great team feel, like, to go in on a 4 by one that wasn't ranked fifth and to come out fifth is just a great feeling that, like, all your hard work is paid off. So I don't even think I really focused too much on what I have done, what I did, but so much of what the team had done and how excited and happy the team was for each other. You're also involved quite a bit on campus with um, other organizations. Uh, tell us about your other involvement outside of athletics. Um, I'm the this year's president of Mugano, and next year I'll serve as vice president, which is wonderful. You meet so many different people whose whole goal is to promote diversity and to be open-minded and to learn about new experiences. With Mugano, we go to like the Big 12 Black Student Government Conference, and you meet people from all over, athletes, non-athletes, um, people from HBCUs and people from uh, all different types of universities. And it's just great to know that everybody's different and everyone has something to offer and just accepting and learning how to work in groups with the differences. As well as being um, a member of Z58 Authority Incorporated. Um, this year I'm like treasurer and secretary which is great because like I love my sorority sisters. They're also on the track team. Um, and it's just nice to always have like someone to talk to, someone to help, someone to understand, and someone that's there, like even if we have uh, something in common. I know they always care enough to be a listening ear. So with your involvement on campus, you, you have school, you have track, you know, how are you able to kind of bring them all together and, and, and find that success on all three phases? Um. Time management, and I mean, I'm not going to say it's easy, like, all three take um, a great amount of time, but um, I'm passionate about all three and everything that I'm involved in, so it's prioritizing sometimes, like, okay, practice has the afternoon, so evenings are for Magano, or when we have Magano events, and when there's not Magano events, if there's something for my sorority, then when I'm there, that's my focus, so it's a lot of prioritizing and time management and just having a lot of passion for it. The passion keeps you going when you're tired or when everything's going on at one time. Well, Ty, thank you for your time and good luck this weekend. Thank you.